Tap Tap here, welcome back to my tower. So you might have noticed if you saw my other video, the basement wasn't done at all, so this is a little part of that. Probably tell what might be coming out from all of the lava. I was thinking I might just make a whole sort of tower underground made out of glass and have it all lit like this with lava just so I can keep the lava waterfalls. Yeah, this is Lava Falls. It has a whole massive amount of lava. It's not very safe. But if you stay within the glass, you won't, like, die. I used Invedit to make myself invincible and give myself all of the lava, because this would not be practical at all to make manually. Though it would technically be possible, but I also stuck some gems, like that diamond there, just to make it look neat. And the lava would have been a massive pain in the ass to get normally. Because there must be a hundred or so blocks of lava. Like, just lava springs. And that just would have been a pain. Plus, I set myself on fire a few dozen times, so... I wouldn't have liked to actually die each of those times and lose all of my stuff. I would have quit like a long time ago if that happened. Anyway, this part is less finished. And this, I just wanted a slime habitat so like I could actually spawn some slimes. But yeah, I haven't seen a single one down here. I've only seen one slime in the entire game. I think maybe a recent update might have done something to them or something. And this is my monster museum in there. That zombie isn't very smart. As you can see, I put a few water fixtures in just to douse myself because I set myself on fire, you know, a lot. This is my little monster museum cave way, so you can look at all the monsters, but they can't attack you. It's usually more zom more monsters than this, actually. I guess there's quite a few. A few dozen out there. Because of the glass, you're actually completely safe. I'm actually kind of surprised. Even a, a creeper will walk right up to you, but they won't detonate if they're on the other side of the glass. That was my major concern. Well, let's tempt fate. Hey. Yep. They attack, like, immediately. But unfortunately, they don't go after you as much when you're encased in glass. I guess they just have more trouble seeing you. Which doesn't really make sense because it's, you know, glass. Hey spiders, what's going on? I'll see you. Spider city in here. And as you notice, there's not a single slime in the entire bunch. There's several dozen monsters out there. Not one of them is a slime. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend going out there. It's not very safe. Hey, there's a creeper. See, so check this out. Creeper, get over here. He's just like, hey, what's going on? They don't detonate ever. Unless there's like a crack in the glass, then all hell breaks loose, but I don't let that happen. And these redstone torches are just so nothing spawns in the tunnel. I'm not sure if stuff spawns with only two blocks high or not, but. It also makes it possible to actually see. There we go, that's sort of better. Hey, spider. Yeah, that's my basement, I guess. There's also a door over there so you can actually go in and fight monsters if you want. I don't really recommend it, but... Yeah, that's just right over here. And since I cheated, to make this whole place. I don't plan on actually harvesting any of the gold and stuff that I found down here. I just wanted a place that looks nice, and I think it looks pretty cool. The bedrock sort of is a limiting factor, but it also looks sort of neat, so I don't mind too much. It looks sort of like a volcano. Though this rock, the normal stone, is sort of ugly for that. I figured I'd replace a bunch of it with obsidian to make it look more volcano-y. Yeah, 
Anyway, hope you like the basement.